Hello and welcome to my channel. As promised, I'm going to share the final thing that, uh, you know, the final piece that I finished. Now, this one, as you recall, is a snippet roll, but it's not. <laughs> what I did was I hid some grommets on this side, some eyelets, and added uh, some gold pretty so my daughter could hang this up. Okay, so... Uh, but if you're making a true snippet roll, you would leave cut places where you could cut off sections to put it in your journal. So that would be the only difference. And as I was thinking about this, I just uh, really thought, what a wonderful idea. Instead of making these, you know, horizontal, you can make them vertical. You can make them a little larger, you know, like a five by seven frame size as gifts for the holidays. So these are some of my ideas of the way I uh, used them. The way I start is I put a base layer, in case you didn't watch the other video, I put a base layer, and normally I just don't even care about the back because it's going in a journal, but if you're gonna make it as a gift, uh, you might double it just so it's a little prettier on the back. And then as you're making it, you lay down little pieces of fabric. These are all little pieces of fabric. I covered the this part completely. So you just lay down and sew those down. And I did it in sections so they wouldn't fall off the sewing machine about, you know, about that big of a section. I'd like do my little undercut. And then I filled in with all of the other stuff on top. So I hope you like this because, man, I think it is just absolutely amazing. There's so many little hidden jewels in here. Now, you ask where I get probably most of the stuff. You know, Hobby Lobby is like my favorite for especially closing out Christmas time. I have lots of little things that I've picked up here and there. You know, I mean, like sequins. Um, I did put some stickles inside of that to make it a little bit prettier. There's the Tim Holtz bell. I like the bells. Stamps. Just so many different things. Eyelash trim. This little um, string is just gold string that I thought was very pretty. Like most of these, these little cookie cutters, the lollipops. These are the, uh, they come off of them. They come from Hobby Lobby out of the, where the little miniature tree stuff is at. A lot of this stuff that I have here. Um, this was an, off of a name of a actual fabric that I had, so I stuck it on there. I did a cutout of uh, Gingerbread Man, more stamp. Uh, these probably came from Timu. Uh, this, this stuff all was from, oh, and this was asked where that came from. And evidently, I made them black and white, but they are color. <laughs> Uh, from Tsunami Rose. It's a digital kit if you're interested in that part. And, you know, just little pom-poms. All of Most of this came from, from uh, Hobby Lobby, though, I would say. And, of course, the fabrics, you know, I have a million different fabrics. But I did, on hers, because she's going to hang it on a fish tank, I did add a separate two little rings up here that were kind of hidden behind one of the higher pieces so that she could put a command hook or something like that up there and hang it. So anyway, I hope you like this. Uh, if you do, give me a thumbs up, share it. If you like, share the idea. You know, it doesn't have to be a snippet roll. It, uh, I actually had made a ton of snippets and if I could go get it, I probably, you know, it's buried in the basement, but, um, there, I took layer and layer and layer of it and I put it in a frame that my dad had made. My dad's passed on, but I had this frame that I told him the size of the picture I wanted and he made the frame the exact size of the picture. Well, you know, uh, if you have a, a picture, it's going, you know, that's this big and you make the frame this big, well, it's going to fall right through. So I didn't know what to do with the frame, but, you know, since my dad made it, I wasn't going to throw it away by no means. And um, so I ended up, making a huge layers of snippets, filling in the blank between each layer. You know, like if I had a layer here and a layer here, I just filled in the, to seam, you know, seam up the gaps there. But um, anyway, just some ideas for you for Christmas. This is really fun and lots and lots of purdy. I, I can't wait to have my grandkids see it on the wall. 
you know, charms. These are charms, and I've sewed these down, you know, a lot. Uh, I'll have either glued them or I've sewed them so you can see the back. I did sew back and forth. You can see where I started and stopped. Um, you know, I would come up here and then go back there and then go back. So I did little sections that, you know, were so big. But anyway, thanks for joining me today. And give me a thumbs up if you like it. And also share it if you like. And I would love to see you again. So subscribe, ring the bell, and I will see you back here very soon. Have a great day and a Merry Christmas. And remember your day is full of choices, so choose joy.